Hi YouTubers. Okay, I'm going to do a video on how to get into a fashion school, a fashion college. Um, I told you earlier in my YouTube video that you don't need to go to school. It's a waste of time and I still believe that. But for some of y'all, if y'all feel the need to go to college, I would explain how to get into a fashion school but but as my advice is if you're gonna go to a fashion school make sure that you can afford the, the tuition and don't put yourself in student loan debts if it's gonna cost you a hundred thousand dollars a just to finish four years then I think you should think twice about taking a loan for a hundred thousand dollars because that's a hundred thousand dollars is something you could put on a house okay that being said to get into a fashion school you have to have at least a B minus and you have to have an amazing portfolio um, how I got into Pratt Institute was pretty it was just luck because I did not have good grades I was always a C average student I was never good in school. I was just average. And um, my portfolio, it wasn't as good as other people's portfolio because they had somebody to train them. I didn't have no training, so I didn't know. But I was very confident in my artwork. And I was fortunate to go to Pratt with a full scholarship. I had a full scholarship to attend there but I left because um, I really wanted to go to FIT and at the time I didn't feel Pratt could prepare me the way FIT could so that's why I left I I mean there was made a lot of reasons but that's the main reason why I left um, okay like I will give you a good example I had issues trying to get into FIT the first time I applied to FIT, I didn't do everything they want us want you to do because you have to show them something you sew, and you have to do show them some of your artwork. And I didn't show them anything I sew because I don't know how. To, at the time, I didn't know how to sew. So um, I showed them like maybe like if they ask for ten sketches, I show them five. You know because. I just didn't feel like doing the whole thing, you know, you're young and sometimes you don't listen. So I didn't get accepted. But the weirdest thing happened, like after a few weeks after I got the rejection letter, they called me back and asked me if I was still interested and attended to their school. And they told me the fashion design program was full and they liked my artwork. but they only have room for textile design to start in the fall and even Pratt I didn't get accepted at first at Pratt but later on they called me back and they decided to accept me so same thing happened at FIT they called me back and they decided to accept me and I turned down the offer because I got a full scholarship to Pratt and I was going to start straight into the fashion design program and I wouldn't have to wait till spring like FIT they wanted me to start in, in spring if they told me that I could have started in the fall I probably would have taken the offer so um, after that I decided after I stayed in a year and at Pratt I wanted to leave and because I really like FIT, like I took a class over the, the summer on designing just to see what it was like, to see if I was in the right college and I was like, you know, I really like the school after I took one class. I was like, I got to transfer here because I feel like, I just feel like I'm more belong to FIT than I did at Pratt at the time I attended. So I apply again, and they told me um, um, I didn't get a sec. I did not get accepted when I apply again. And what happened was, 
they had it to get my college transcript from Pratt and high school. So that made it more difficult because like when you just graduate from high school, you only have to send them your high school trans transcript. But when you're transferring to another school, you also have to send in your college transcript. And it turns out that the registrar, they did not have my transcript. And then it was just a whole lot of stress. And also, they told me that I'm not supposed to bring it in unless it's in the letter from my school. And I didn't know that. So that totally messed up my application. Like with FIT, if your application is not together, they're not going to call you and say, Oh, Lisa, you know, we just want you to know we didn't receive your high school transcript or your college transcript can you send it to us again they're not going to call and tell you that they're not going to call and tell you they made a mistake and lost it you have to call them and make sure that they have your high school or college transcript or your application or they're going to just throw it with the rest of the pile and not qualify you to get in so the third time i apply and make sure they have my college transcript, my high school transcript. I called them to make sure it was there. I deliver it in person in the envelope. I let the school do it. Put, Let them put it in the envelope. I took the envelope and I took it. And they lost my college transcript again. And every time you ask for a college tr transcript at Pratt, you have to pay for it. So I think when they lost it, I think I asked Pratt to send it to them. And when they lost my transcript, I went to Pratt and I said, I need my college transcript because they never got it. And they say they send it. I, and I was like arguing with them. I said, no, you did not send it because they never got it. So can you just put it in the envelope and I send it to them? Because I didn't want to pay. I was very cheap. I didn't want to pay. But I knew they sent it, and I knew FIT lost it, but I didn't want to pay for it, so I argued with them to give it to me. So anyway, I um, I make sure they got it in person, make sure my application was correct and everything, and then I did not get accepted again. And this time I was really pissed off. And then I looked at the rejection letter, and at the bottom, they have the person who signed it, who was part of the administration. Her name started with a D. I think it was Deanna or something, or Dawson. I can't remember. So I was like, you know what? I need to speak to this person in person because I want to know why the hell she did not accept me because I came from a really good college. I had only one D on my transcript. So I just don't understand why they didn't accept me. I really don't. So I went to her in person and I say why I didn't get accepted. And she told me that um, she looked at my grade. She said because I had a 2.14 on my, no, I had a, I'm trying to remember. I think I had a 2.12 on my GPA. She said together you need a 2.14, which is ridiculous because it's not that different, you know. And anyway, in the time when I attended the um, college, you needed a 2.12 to get in. I didn't really argue with her, but it says so in the catalog at the time when I attended the school that you only need a 2.12 GPA to get accepted in their school. That's the minimum. And I had a 2.12. So I told her my situation too. I told her also I have dyslexia as well. And I sh and they graded me like a B plus on my portfolio. But for whatever the reason, I didn't get it. And I told her too that I did have a call earlier from Mike who accepted me before. So she didn't say anything. She said, okay, come back to me in the fall, whatever. So I make sure I kept trying to get in touch with her. And she, so this is part two.
how to get into a fashion college like I say the lady she looked at she told me to come see her later so I was like okay so I'll just wait and come see her later and I kept ball bugging the administration office I kept calling them whatever and they told me to just reapply again so I was like oh great now I have to reapply but when I got um when they told me to reapply I think they sent me a letter and they say don't worry about it just reapply and just you, I don't have to do the portfolio or whatever so then I got accepted and then I got into um, I got to start the next semester so that's how I got accepted into the fashion universities I mean yeah it was a university or college you know just make sure you they have your applications and you speak to the if you didn't get something you speak to the person who reject you and you try to find out why and if you did everything they want you to do and you still didn't get anything you start speaking to the people on top and eventually they get tired of you and they just accept you eventually so that's how you get into school and another thing too people who have money and who have power I mean, they don't have to work so hard to get in. They just automatically get in, you know. So that that going was saying, you know, that um, things are not always what they seem to be, you know. So I just, that's what I, I want y'all to know. Don't be don't beat yourself up if you don't have good grades. That don't mean you can't get into the school you want to do and and be smart about it. Don't put yourself in student loan debt. It's unnecessary, you know. I think if you're going to go to school, you should go to school to become a professor, a professor or a doctor or a lawyer, something that's something that you're able to pay back your student loans. You can make a lot of money and pay back your student loans. You could as a fashion designer, but it depends what you do as a fashion designer. Okay? So that's a whole another story by itself. So I just want y'all to know that.